All right, everybody, in today's video, we're going to be getting a in-depth review and unboxing on both Jimmy and Jay Uso. So let's get these guys cracked open. All right, guys, let's give you guys a look at the Usos here. So attires are always good. Um, the last Usos we got really was not a good attire. This attire really knocks out of the park. Um, show you the sides here. Good photos of the brothers. And then I'll let you guys pause the video if you want to read that real quick. Let's pause the focus. Same with Jay. All right, and then name, name. All right, let me crack these guys open for you. All right, guys, these guys are all out of the package here. So let's go over Jimmy. So what I didn't realize with Jimmy in the package is he actually has the day one ish on the back of the shirt or on the back of the uh, jacket rather I should say solid touch on that. I think the pant design too that's just pretty gnarly honestly. Um, the ripples and everything like that, the wrinkles that are in them. Um, you get the back pockets there as well, um, and then screaming head scan. Never a bad thing to have a screaming head scan, especially with the USO and then that USO splash. Get the jacket off real quick for you guys. Take a look at the tattoo work. You guys know I love a good solid tattoo work on a figure. Um, let's see here. All right, let's throw this down over here. And then pretty, you know, pretty much the usual when it comes to the Usos. But again, it, it's not easy to add this kind of detail, tribal detail, into the tattoos. But Mattel usually kicks out of the park with these, or knocks out of the park, I should say. Um, chest design solid so yeah ultimately a really good figure um, and then as far as Jimmy goes too could always get a uh, different Jimmy pop the head off of uh, of it and put it onto this one solid job um, but if you don't want the screaming part of it I do think I mean I know the Usos aren't the most jacked guys but I do think torso wise we could have gotten a little more ripped than that I mean I know like I said they're not jacked but I do think there's something there they, they have you can see their abs usually a little bit more than what we're getting on this figure so i have my one pro quo with it then we're gonna grab jay so jay comes with the same idea i didn't know this as well vest has a down since day one ish on the back um same pant design same shoes so those are matching with the figure um comes with the handcuffs which i always thought was a weird accessory for these guys i mean i guess the whole uso penitentiary gig they got going on that's kind of a running joke with that I would I would guess um, but because of how it's in the packaging you can tell because it's, it's around his bicep on the box this one is really stretched out <laughs> versus this one that's the one thing I would say about that just, just package it in the front like you can't really put this on around the wrist now because of how outstretched it is versus this side um, it does come with a kendo stick as well on a solid accessory um, can't wait for the uh, future AOP ones that come with the broken kendo sticks it'll be pretty cool for your uh, pick feds um, and same idea, we get the same open hands on both figures. Um, but Jay does come with the bandana you can remove. Um, solid head scan with Jay too as well. Really captures the face pretty nice. I do wish, and this is kind of really nitpicking, but I do wish that we could get the grill that they have. They usually wear in gold grills. If we can get the grills and the teeth, that'd be so cool. Um, let's pop out the vest here, give you... Same idea, give another look at the um, another look at the tattoos. So chest wise, solid job like usual. Um, and then let's see. Start on this side. So the cross has been getting more intricate lately that they've been putting uh, Mattel's been putting more effort into the cross. The cross is always good. It's the only way I can tell them apart is I know that uh, Jay has the cross and Jimmy doesn't. Um, well, same idea on this side. He has a lot more intricate work on the on the tribal versus Jimmy, but um, again, Mattel is always spot on with the tattoos. I will say they usually never too too off when it comes to tattoo work. But again, solid figure. Um, honestly, a lot of stores that I have seen still have at least 60, uh, 64 out. So if you guys are looking for these, they're probably at your Target or Walmart because all these stores don't have the new ones so pick them up if you like them uh feel free to check out the rest of the series we're doing a review on all right take care guys peace